Hi there, my name is Tony Barber. Although at least three times a day, my dear wife Sue calls me Anthony. But I must admit, I sort of look forward to it because it's a bit of a challenge for me to guess what I've done wrong this time. But apart from having two names, I'm also an artist and I have been for all of my life. Would you believe that once, for a very short time there, I was a long-haired member of a rock and roll band called Billy Thorpe and the Aztecs? And that was a very interesting time, to say the least. I wrote a few songs, we had a few hits, and girls used to scream at me, and they didn't run away. <laughs> but, but I always managed to return to my passion, art and design. I never thought of myself as an inventor, but it looks like I am, because that's why I'm here now and about to tell you why I have this bucket. It's not an ordinary bucket, it's an artist bucketless bucket. There's no water in it, but it did bring a watershed moment into my life. A few years ago, I fell off a chair trying to paint the top section of a large canvas. I told some artist friends of mine about it and they started telling me about their unfortunate accidents and problems they were also having with their A and H frame easels. I was surprised at the similarities of their problems to mine. So I asked each one of them to make a list of the main things they would like, in a perfect world, their easels to do beyond just supporting their canvas. Long story shorter, those artists' lists and mine revealed a pattern. We all pretty much had the same artist bucket list. So that is when I decided to try and invent and build an easel that would solve most, if not all, of those problems. And here it is, the Artistic Studio Easel, designed to take the pain out of painting and the work out of artwork, so that you can paint better. Over the years, I've personally come to believe the largest art movement or group of artists in the history of art are called the Essentialists. And regardless of the medium they paint in, the level of their skill or techniques or whether they're selling their paintings or not. As a group, they are the world's most important and influential artists. Because up to now, these artists have, in many respects, gone unnoticed. But with the coming of the internet, they have a voice, a very loud voice. They promote and support art by their Facebook pages, Twitter, blogs, Pinterest, and all the other social media websites. Not only that, they support and attend art shows and exhibitions. And let's not forget that collectively, they buy almost all of the brushes and the paints, the canvas and other art equipment worldwide every day. If they stopped doing these things, the art world would cease to exist. So you see, this is why the essentialist artists are VIP artists. And the good news is, you are one of them. I've looked at thousands of paintings, judged art competitions, spoken at and visited hundreds of art clubs and societies. And I firmly believe there is no such thing as a bad painting. You can always find one small spark of originality, sometimes even a touch of genius, a single brushstroke that hints of better paintings to come. And once I find it, I always tell the artist, because we all thrive on encouragement. The things you paint, create and do could one day motivate someone else to try it too.